Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to see how actually we can do a parameterization in a Azure Data Factory. Okay, so we have already seen like how to perform a copy data activity. If you have to copy a data from a storage account to the blob that from storage account to the SQL database that we have already seen right in this video suppose we have one of the business requirement suppose we have a SQL database okay so this is my SQL database okay and here I have a table 1 I have a table 2 I have a table 3 okay and this actually I want to do a copy and I want to transfer this data into a storage account suppose this is my output storage I have okay so I want to perform a copy data activity okay so I will be having only one data pipeline so this is the data pipeline okay data pipeline one okay so this is the data pipeline one in this data pipeline only whenever I am running my pipeline during the runtime I will pass this parameter this table one if I will do so the table one only will get copy to the storage account if I will pass table two during runtime then the table two only will get copy to the uh, storage account if, if I will pass the table three during runtime then the table three only will get passed into during the runtime that actually we will do how actually we can do a parameterize and this is very important from the practical perspective okay so let me open my account so what actually I have done I have already created the database let me open that let me go to the query editor let me open what are the tables I have let me try to show you okay let me try to log in okay okay so if I will show you so I have a multiple tables here if you can see address table I have I have a customer table I have a customer address I have a product table okay so I will create one pipeline which will be able to transfer this data into a storage account so I have a storage account also I have this output container as of now there is no data available so what actually we will do we will transfer the data from this particular table to the storage account okay through a data factory pipeline so let me open data factory pipeline what actually I will do I will open the author click on the create a new pipeline okay what actually we are going to do we are going to create a copy data right so I will select that what is my source location so first we have to create a data set so what is my source source is nothing but a SQL database so I will select the Azure SQL database here okay what is link service I am going to create a new link service I am going to create a connection with Azure SQL so for that I need the server name I need the database name also so I will select that and the uh, username and the password I am going to pass okay this also we can do a parameterize that actually we will see in a later video as of now we will see how actually we can do a parameterize in a table name and the DB name okay so this is what uh, our link service is ready so previously we were selecting the table name but we are not going to select as of now because we are going to do a parameter click on the ok ok now our source is ready but I will go to this particular data set we have created right in the connection if you can see table name we are not going to pass anything we are going to do a parameter so I will click on this edit uh, what is our table name so first will be the DB name and then table name so we are going to create a parameter how we actually we can create a parameter if you can see here parameters and the plus option so click on the parameter we are going to create a new parameter so I will give the table name uh, first will be the DB name and then the table name so I will give the DB name ok click on the save ok and I am going to create one more parameter that is a nothing but a table name and click on the ok save ok so ok this is the two parameter we have created in a table first will be the db name we are going to pass so what will be the db name you have to select click on the ok second parameter will come as a table name so I will select that click on the ok so this we have done it ok now we have to go to the pipeline we have to go to the pipeline ok 
and uh, if we will go to the pipeline here we have parameter here two parameter we have defined right just click on the publish all uh, there is one error which is coming let's try to find out okay as of now it is asking like db name so that actually we are going to pass the db name here okay before that we have to do one thing okay click on the copy data so these are the screens are coming what we will do we will cl click on the outside okay click on the new the db name and the table name these are the two parameter so that actually we will define in the parameter also so click on the copy data click on the source click on the open okay these are the two parameter we have connection we have already done the connection go to the pipeline and now if you click on the preview data it will show error because here only asking the db name if i'll click on the add dynamic content i can add the db name okay but we also have to add the table name okay so sometime it give it will show only one name okay so what we have you have to do in that case go to the sql table go to the parameter just try to add a new parameter okay i'll give the database name something okay i haven't done any, any changes go to the pipeline now it is showing the all the three name right so what we have to do i just delete the database name now i have only the db name and the table name now if i'll go to the pipeline go to the source db name we have already passed table name also we will pass it so i'll select the table name dot value okay okay now if you will try to preview data it will ask the two value db name and the table name so if i will pass the db name my db name is sales lt okay this is my db name and table name is address if i click on the okay you will be able to see the data okay so what are the step we have to follow let me explain you once again once you will create a data, a data set okay uh, this is the data set we have created in this table select this click on the plus and create the parameter for the db name okay that is the first step click here create a new parameter create one more parameter that is a table name okay two parameter we have created and that we have passed here okay now we have to go to the pipeline in a source this is the db name and the table name it is asking so we are passing the same db name and the table name here also okay these are the two step we have to do okay i hope you have got it now go to the sync we are going to create a new what is our data set we are going to store in a blob storage to store into a csv format so i'll select that click on the link service we are going to create a new link service for the storage account i'll select that what is my storage account okay click on the create and now here we will select our output location that is output container so i'll select that and first row is header i'll click on that i'll click on the okay okay now our pipeline is run, running now what actually i will do i'll click on the publish all there is no issue okay so this is how actually we can do a parameterize and during the runtime we will pass the table name and the db name okay so once the publish will complete we will try to run the pipeline i'll click on that trigger trigger now click on the trigger now it will ask the db name what is my db name my db name is nothing but a sales lt what is my table table address table this is the table i want to transfer okay this is the uh, this is the table name and the db name i have passed it if i'll click on the okay my pipeline will start running and that will transfer the data you can see the pipeline is running this is the pipeline which is running in progress as of now in output container no results but uh, once it will complete you will get to see the data over there for the address okay so this is how actually we can create a pipeline and we can do parameterize everything you can see it is succeed now now if i will go to the output container and if i will refresh you will get to see the data which got copied from a sales lt dot address from uh, sql to the 
storage account now what we will do we will try to run it again okay i'll click on the add trigger again trigger now now this time which particular uh, i want to transfer this customer data okay so what actually we have to do in data factory db name is same sales lt but the table which i want to transfer is like customer table so i'll give this table if i'll click on the okay my pipeline will start running and this time the customer table will get transferred to that particular location so with that you will be having one data pipeline but multiple table you can transfer it i hope you have got idea let's try to wait it to be completed you can see it is succeed now i will go to the output container if i will refresh you will get to see sales lt dot customer data if i will click here if i will show you data you will be able to see that 